name is Moshin Tabai. I'm the executive director of the Kilimanjaro Kisel Medical Center. This collaboration between KSMC and the Duke has been there a little longer than 10 years. Uh, it first started between uh, a collaboration mainly focusing on infectious diseases research, and it has grown from uh, being a single research project to a multiple number of research projects. But also we have research training projects, which is building the capacity at KSMC. We won uh, this award for Medical Education Partnership Initiative, focusing on strengthening medical education at KSMC. Uh, we anticipate this uh, through this project to have real innovation, uh, maybe revolutionizing medical education in Tanzania, but of course starting with KSMC. I'm the principal investigator for this project, but I have a co-principal investigator here at Duke, who is John Butler. So we are, the two of us are leading the project. We decided that one of the ways we could manage this project better was to come and see what was on the ground at Duke. And uh, we have seen quite a lot, actually. We have seen the people, so putting uh, names to the faces we have heard, but also uh, getting to understand the system, uh, the way the systems work. So we have seen the demonstration of the learning management systems. If we were to establish such a thing in KSMC, what kind of things should we be aware of in developing such a system? We have seen the link, uh, how we can use uh, audio view systems and telepresence, for example. Uh, we have gone to the wards, attended some of the ward rounds, seen how patient care is done, how teaching is done. Uh, team-based learning for students, how to facilitate learning in a team and so on. And we have seen it in practice. So it's, it's not something we have been reading on paper, but we have seen it happening. And therefore, it's very, very encouraging and uh, very enriching to see something you read and then see it being done. So that is, has been part of what, why we came to Duke. And uh, we are glad that we came. In order to meet this demand, we have to increase our training capacity in both ways, in terms of numbers and quality. So MAPI comes in handy that it's, going, it's a project that is going to meet a national need. It's not only KSMC, it's a national need. That if we strengthen the capacity of KSMC to provide quality medical education, means we are going to have qualified doctors that will work in the Tanzanian healthcare system. They are strengthening the partnership between KSMC and Duke um, through all the departments that are at Duke. It's not only one person or one group, it's almost all the groups at Duke that will participate in this partnership. We have the uh, IT team, which is really supporting us in uh, doing the configuration of uh, all what's meant for the internet access and so on. So they work with our team uh, at KSMC in doing that. But also we have experts in education and uh, teaching methodologies. So that's another team at Duke that is will be really supporting us. And what I mentioned is uh, faculty workshops, faculty development workshops, meant to bring our own faculty up to speed, how best to use this te new technology. So that is another group. Uh, we have people who work with the library here at Duke, and they work with our teams in, in KSMC. How best can we use? Uh, benefit from the experience that Duke has in uh, library and uh, information services. We have also experts in uh, learning management systems like who are going to work uh, here at, at Duke and those that are going to work with us at KSMC. Also researchers, uh, what we are going to do with the mentored research program, we are going to ask people who are here, who are doing research in certain areas to accept to be mentors for the students at KSMC. And it doesn't have to be maybe senior professors and so on. We are looking at if residents, uh, doctors who are doing residency, if they are specialists in certain area, they can mentor students at KSMC. There are several things that Duke is uh, learning from us. 
One is um, Duke is well resourced, but when the faculty interact with us, they learn how to do more with less. And that's something that you cannot learn here because I mean, most of the resources are available. So when they come to Tanzania, that's one thing they learn, that there are certain things you can do even with the less resources, uh, given the right uh, uh, opportunity. The other thing that uh, Duke is really learning is sending stu medical students from Duke to come and work at, in Tanzania. Uh, have uh, the, the global fear of healthcare. And that's why it's a Global Health Institute. It's very enriching for the students to understand uh, tropical diseases, for example, and their management as opposed to only uh, conditions that uh, happen here. So that is also for the students, which is mutually beneficial to all of us, both the Duke and the KSMC joint research programs. Once we do research together, everyone benefits. But also the other thing that Duke uh, is benefiting is to demonstrate that it is possible to collaborate on the ground. That uh, a university in the north and a university in the south, they can collaborate and they do good things for the better of the population. Our hope is after the five years, people should look back and say, oh, this happened between KSMC and Duke. Can we do something like this one? And are uh, their best practices that people can learn and take home. And we think if we do that, we have to contribute significantly to the development of a North-South collaboration.